Good afternoon, this is Joe Navickas. I'm gonna go over with you guys today the credit card interest calculation on a credit card and literally it is the worst loan in America. Actually, I take that back. There's one worst loan out there and that's called a pawn shop. A pawn shop, um, basically, let's say I have a, a watch, uh, the market value, maybe I could sell it for maybe possibly $200 if I'm a retail store. Um, I go to a pawn shop. The pawn shop gives me $100 for my gold watch and then they say we will hold on to the watch for 30 days and at the end of the 30 days, within 30 days, you could buy the watch back for $130. If not, at the end of 30 days, um, we get to keep the watch and sell it for whatever we want. So uh, the pawn shop basically, if, if you buy it back in the next 30 days for 30 bucks, you're paying a huge, huge finance charge for that use of that $100. Now the pawn shop makes money because most of the time people don't come back and buy back the property and then they turn around and sell it for a much higher price. So pawn shops are pretty crummy loans, stay away from those. But one loan that's not too far behind the two-thirds of Americans carry our credit card um, is the credit card. And the credit card, um, basically when we talk about time value money, which you're going to learn eventually, they compound the interest daily. So every single day that interest gets compounded. Um, onto the balance because what the credit card company does, and I'll walk you through the spreadsheet in here a second, they're basically going to charge interest on whatever outstanding balance you have every single day. Then they're going to add that interest back into the balance. And then any new purchases that you make, they're also going to charge interest on that. So it is a truly, truly crummy loan. And really, people who have credit card debt, they outspend their income. So the goal that we're trying to teach you in this class is that you become a saver, you pay yourself first, you save, save, save. Therefore, you never have to go borrow money at a very, very high rate. You never have to pay interest for eggs or milk or the concert or whatever it is you spend your money on. You will be basically um, spending your own money and, and going in the positive direction because you're going to earn interest on the money that you save. All right, so I'm going to um, walk you through the spreadsheet here. So here we go. Um, on my credit card here, I have an 18% annual percentage rate. So by law, the credit card company has to say, hey, we're going to charge you uh, an annual percentage rate. Therefore, as a consumer, you're able to compare different interest rates. As an investor, we'd love to get 18% a year, but there's not much out there that will give you 18% a year. But this debt instrument will charge you 18%. But the way they calculate the interest, they basically charge this interest. They base it off of a daily amount, a daily periodic rate. So they're going to take your daily balance, and, and to get this daily periodic rate, I take the percentage, and I divide by 365 days in the year. And so that's how I get this rate. And if you look closely on your credit card statement or your parents, you'll see on there in very small print the daily periodic rate. All right, so let's say um, this person spends $9,000 on their credit card, and they only pay off um, $1,000. So during the 30-day billing cycle, they spent nine. dollars they get the bill and they're like, you know what, I only could pay a thousand. So now eight thousand becomes the beginning balance on the credit card. So we're going to put that that balance in. Now let's say on day one, let's say for simplicity's sake, let's say they don't purchase any um, stuff on that day. So we're going to do in our formula here. We're going to always take the beginning balance and we're going to always add in any new purchases in this formula. And there we go. We get a new balance of eight thousand. Okay. So now the finance charge, the way the finance charge works is they're going to take your, your new balance right here, the 8000 and we're going to multiply that by the daily periodic rate. And so in there I got to, um, I have to make sure that I format this right. So I got to put that and that. All right. And so the finance charge is $3.94. And you're like, Navicus, it's not that big of a deal. But what happens, and this is how the loan works, what happens now is that $8,000 plus your finance charge of $3.94 becomes your new ending balance. And what happens now is that becomes our beginning balance for the next day. And so we're going to plug that in there. And, and so now um, we're going to add something new to the equation. Let's say we go out and we, we buy uh, you know, some clothing and we spend 90 bucks. Well, now our new balance, and watch, I'm going to just copy the formula here. Now our, our balance becomes $8,093.95. So the finance charge, remember the finance charge is, is multiplying by that daily rate. I'm just going to copy my formula here. 
and now um, it went up to $3.99. So we added five cents, and I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but you gotta remember that's compounding now every single day. So our ending balance now comes out to there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to kind of cheat here a little bit. I'm going to add in some purchases, okay? We go out, buy some food, we save some money that day, we go to the concert, um, you know, we go out to lunch with a friend, and so I'm kind of adding, and, and, and Americans, you know, we spend, and we should be saving first, but let's say um, we have a couple of days off here, we get some gas, I'm just going to put in some dollar amounts here on some expenditures that would happen. Um, here's a grocery shop, um, you know, different bills, a couple days of saving some money, not, not spending money. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to just put in a bunch of numbers. And you're going to kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. And we're adding to the balance. And I'm just about done here. All right, $43, that's a nice random amount. So what I'm gonna do is, since I have my formulas, here are my new purchases, and these are in dollars. I'm just gonna take this um, cell, because I referenced it properly. I'm gonna drag it down, hold on there, all right. So we got that in, and we're gonna now drag this down and copy that formula. And we're gonna start to see some numbers appear here. Okay, so there we have it. So what happens is we spend eight. Remember our original example, we didn't spend any. We had a balance of eight. There's our finance charge. There's our new balance. That new balance wraps around. There are the new purchases, and I kind of walked you through that. And you can see that finance charge is as we spend more and more money. Remember, we're being charged uh, a finance charge not only on our beginning balance of eight, but all new purchases. And that's in the fine print of the agreement. You have to look really closely to find that. Um, but you'll see it, it will say once you carry a balance any new purchases will be charged the, fi the daily rate so this is an awful awful loan and I'm going to show you what the total finance charge for the month is by adding up the um, the total here and the total of all the finance charges for the month comes out to da, 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 $137 and so what you're thinking here at this point, you're thinking, well, Mr. Vickers, it's only 130. Well, $137 adds up. And what's going to happen is we carry this high balance, and this is what Americans do. They, they keep these, and these balances only get larger and larger and larger, and therefore we're, we're constantly paying finance charges every single month. And so if we carry on the 12 more months in a year, 130 37 bucks times 12, you're, you're talking a substantial amount of money based off of um, this original balance. Plus, you're going to continue putting purchases on that card, and that's what, what people do. So this credit card is an awful, awful loan. You have to really think long and hard, and if Americans really knew how this was calculated, maybe they would um, think differently. But we, we, we do live in a society, we want it, we want it now, and we could put it on the card and pay for it later. But you have to remember, when we get it, and we get it now, all purchases that go on that card thereafter are going to be charged the finance charge. So this this um, concert that we went to down here for $100, that we're, we didn't pay $100 for it. We're gonna pay a lot more than $100 because now we're gonna charge a finance charge on this $100 every single day until we pay off the full balance. Now, in order um, to get no finance charges, when we receive our bill for $9,860.14, we have to write a check for that. And if we pay in full, then new purchases moving forward will not be charged the finance charge. So you have to ask yourself, do you need it now, or are you willing to wait? Are you living beyond your means? You know, what is really going on here? So um, being a 38-year-old person, I've, I've just dated myself in the video, um, I've never carried a balance on a credit card where I was being charged a finance charge. It just doesn't make sense. Um, I would rather be a saver and then while I'm saving money to buy something, I earn interest off of it. So I'm actually buying at a lower price than people who use their credit cards because they're, they're being charged finance charges 
and Joe Navicus over here who pays everything off in full and saves up before he buys it is actually earning interest on that money before the purchase is made. So you have to think long and hard. Some debt, you know, we, we have, you know, most Americans will, will look at, you know, mortgage debt as being okay. Um, sometimes we, we need a car and sometimes people will justify that a, the car is good debt, but credit card debt is such a poor loan agreement you really want to stay away. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'm um, looking forward to hearing your response on what you learned here and your reaction.